Okay, the next technique is going to be dry on wet. The first word refers to our brush. Our brush will be dry this time, but have paint on it, just not extra water. Our paper will be wet, so we're going to start by adding water to the background, water only. Remember to use a light touch with your brush, so you're only using the tip of the brush on the paper. Okay, the next step, you're going to take your brush and get some paint on it. To make sure you have the excess water out of your brush, take your paper towel and gently press the base of the bristles where they join the brush. This absorbs the extra water into the paper towel so that there's not too much water in your brush. Then you're going to paint your first initial on the water again. You may have to get more paint to make sure you have enough to show up. So the first time that we painted our initial it was on a dry background and so we received crisp lines on the edges. This time when you're painting dry on wet you get the general shape that you were painting, but with diffused edges. 